Hello from Art of Animation. So myself and Brennan just got back from Animal Kingdom this morning where we had some lunch and we rode some rides. Now we're continuing the rest of the day at Art of Animation to maybe do some pen trading and definitely get some food. Brennan already went inside to get a bit of a head start over here. So heading to the food courts. This is where we just got off of the bus down here. I did get some brownies last night, but we'll see if they have any other fun snacks to get. So I'm going to get one M&M cookie here for Brennan and then I'll get one chocolate chip cookie for myself and maybe we'll, we'll mix and match a little bit and then we'll head back to the room so Brennan can get her little nap in. I never really thought about it but Rafiki does not really have any presence at all in Festival of the Lion King over at Animal Kingdom. And there's Mufasa but that's sort of for obvious reasons. I'm trying to think about what we want to do for dinner tonight. I don't know if I want to just eat here at Animation Hall or maybe just somewhere on the Skyliner route. You have to be incredibly patient to try to get this playground alone to yourself. So I'm going to run through it really quickly. The elephant graveyard. It's not much of a playground, but it's like a fun place to just sort of explore. Oh, I have to crouch down really low. And I'm just gonna come out of this other end. Woo! Okay. That was fun. All right, the elephant graveyard here. Very iconic and fun. And now back to the room, finally, to enjoy some cookies and, and maybe some brownie bites and some relaxation for the afternoon before doing some more stuff this evening. We're gonna get a head start so she could get ready for her nap, get into her comfortable clothes. The idea of going to a theme park and then coming back to a Disney resort just to take a nap and just relax, that is just, that is really cool. I do enjoy that aspect of this experience. So it seems like I was just over here, which I was, but some time has passed Brennan to take her nap and I was able to do some editing. And now I'm going to Animation Hall to Landscape of Flavors to pick up some dinner. I also changed my shirt because we are still planning to go on the Skyliner to do some uh, pen trading, which I hope we can do that while the sun is still up, which should be setting here within the next two to three hours. But what I got from Landscape of Flavors is an entire pizza. I ordered a pizza. I decided to go the long way around the buildings here and then back through. Uh, the Little Mermaid, or the little, uh, the, the Finding Nemo area. The temperature feels fantastic right now. It's warm, but it is not hot, which is sort of rare in Florida sometimes. Definitely could have walked a little bit more of a direct path over here, but that's okay. I'm glad that I did the mobile pickup because it is busy in here. It is actually busy everywhere right now. It is very busy at Art of Animation. All right, but a pretty pleasant walk, at least on the outside of the buildings. The inner walkways and sidewalks are a little bit more congested. I've almost made it back to the building, to our Little Mermaid section. There's definitely like a comfortable breeze though, which is really pleasant right now. Ready for the pizza reveal? I'm ready. Yummy. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, not bad, right? So we're going to have some pizza, have some stuff that we have in uh, the fridge and play some more Lorcana and then go to the Skyliner. Yay! Does that sound okay? To match your shirt. This is the Skyway, but Things. Similar buckets. Similar. All right, so Brendan and I are going to do some pen trading now. The pizza was absolutely delicious, and uh, yeah, let's go trade some pens. Right? All right. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to go ahead and just get onto the monorail or the the Skyliner rather than start here just while it's still daylight. We're going to go over to um, Caribbean Beach, obviously first. I don't know about Riviera or the Boardwalk resorts yet we'll see so there's the skyliner station it looks pretty busy right now we'll see if we get our own gondola and we are going to try to come back to pop century okay so we're about to get onto the skyliner but we wanted to come over here really quickly just to go over what we have the yeah. pins that we anticipate trading and what we're trying to collect i think i'm gonna try and finish this epcot collection because you have one that you'll trade me but i think Otherwise, I'm just gonna try and go for some cutesy collection where I've got like Tigger and Pluto and Piglet. This Mickey's like really cute. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try and get some cute Holding pins. Are your dogs up here? Yeah, for right now. What about your socks? I'm gonna trade those. You have a lot of just like random ones that yeah. you just like randomly liked, but. Like this Madame Leota one when I got it was really cool, but now she's just so out of place. She's so cute. <laughs> Is she? So I have so many now that they are just like going around my neck. I have these like Lion King ones that I got doing my last challenge that I'm definitely going to trade. These Winnie the Pooh ones that I'm not super crazy about, so I'm gonna go and trade those away. Uh, gonna trade these socks, probably as well. I don't know, I go for like nostalgic, like like theme park attraction sort of pins. That's what attracts me, or just really random, really funny, silly ones. Um, but you want to trade me for this one. Mm -hmm. And will you trade me your figment pen? I will. All right, so we're taking this over to Caribbean Beach and then walking over to their lobby over there to trade some pens. All right, we're heading into our gondola. Here, it's a wrapped gondola. Here we are launching over. 
uh, Hourglass Lake. There's Hobson Tree. Way over there. We've explored all these resorts just so many different times before. But, art of animation, it's just, it's fun. So Brendan and I did trade our pins. I can't even find it up here, but I got her Figment one. And then she got my, my Epcot one. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what we can do today with pin trading. Wave to our building. I think it's that one. <laughs> you might have to the wrong one. <laughs> I can't see anything. Last night, this was one of the most quiet, just serene parts of the entire experience to get back to our room. Because it was really late and it was completely dark. And there's Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach, however you want to pronounce it. We didn't get the narration at all on this trip, which also makes it even more like relaxing to not have to listen to the narration. Nothing wrong with it, but still, it makes it calm. So this is the Caribbean Beach station and we are walking over to the lobby. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's not terrible. This is the line that connects over to Epcot. The Hollywood Studios line is right over there. This one, this one always takes a little bit of a, a commitment of time though. Honestly, this is such a beautiful time to walk over here because the sun is setting. That was really interesting, wasn't it? It's really pretty to walk over here because the sun is nice. We do have to go across this island here just to get over to the lobby. And then we can pin trade from there and maybe walk over to the Riviera Resort. You can see the Skyliner buckets just going by right up here. It is very much so spring break right now. It is busy everywhere. This island has some random cabanas and then like a playground over here. And that's the pool. So we are just going to continue walking to Riviera. That's what we usually do whenever we do the uh, like the Skyliner bar crawls. Something that we do not have over at Art of Animation with the pools is a slide. We don't have a slide. Like, wouldn't a slide just be the best thing? So Britta did want to get like a mystery pin box again, but I think she's just gonna stick with what she has. I will too. So there was a Pinchetti board out here in the lobby and Brennan traded for this little sleeping lady and then I got Jafar's hat. <laughs> so you traded, uh, what did you trade for that? The Your Autopia? Pin. And then I traded one of my Winnie the Poohs for this one. So Brittany just traded here, and she got these two Epcot pins here. So you were getting pretty close to completing your, your Epcot mm -hmm. pin collection. So we're checking over here at the front desk. I had to get some more backs to our pins because they keep falling off. So there was a pin trading board over there. What'd you get, Brennan? I got... I traded my Chippendale socks for this little guy. So it's going with my cutesy theme. I'm not super sold on it. So if I see something I like more, I'll, I'll give this little guy up. But it's, uh, it's coming along. Yeah. Something we also like we're paying attention to is like, we see like three different collections in these things. So you have like the small, the larger, the distressed, the not distressed. Like, do they have three different pin types of Epcot stuff? Probably. Like it's weird. So Brennan's really been doing pretty good with her pins. Yeah, I need to catch heck? up. I'm, I'm I'm being particular. I'm being I'm being specific. So now we are walking over to Cari uh, pff, we're at Caribbean Beach. We're heading over to uh, Riviera. There's the really adorable lighthouse way over there. The sky looks just it looks gorgeous right now. It's getting a little bit windier and colder, but otherwise pretty comfortable as we're heading over to the Riviera. There's a pretty limited, I think, uh, amount of options here for us to trade some pins, but we'll see what we can do. Every time we walk past this beach, Brennan always writes this in the sand. R&B forever. <laughs> you mean it? Yeah. The sun has almost set and it'll definitely be down by the time that we're done creating pins here. It's like coming out of our room to see Ursula. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that was a, okay. That was a stretch. <laughs> Just statue butt. We made a quick stop at Bar Riva so Brenna could get a blueberry lemon margarita, right? Yes. And now we're heading inside to hopefully, for myself at least, do some pin trading. I gotta, I gotta do something. So in the lobby, we are going over to La Boutique. So they didn't have any that we wanted on like the board itself, like the regular board, but we did do the mystery box. They do have like a mystery pin that you can trade for. Mm -hmm. And I got this, it's a small world girl. And then I don't even know what you got there. It's from some movie, but it's I have funny. no idea. I don't know, we're just having fun. Yeah. And we're just trading ones that we don't really, like I traded my mystery ones already, you traded <laughs> extra ones. I also didn't like show this one off, but I found this one in my car. This like sword in the stone hmm. pin, but I'm, I'm okay trading that one. So we decided to continue on towards uh, the boardwalk because why not? So we're taking the Skyliner over there. I saw this beautiful art here at Riviera, which is not very easy to see because of the time of day. The idea is to hopefully try to go over to the boardwalk and then be back, or at least get back onto the Skyliner before uh, the Epcot fireworks. We rode this just last night on our way over to 
Um, Epcot literally just to eat dinner and then come back. We won't be getting off here on the way back though. We'll just be taking this all the way back to Art of Animation and then maybe Pop Century depending on what time we get back. Here we go. Finally in an unwrapped gondola. Okay. Aren't uh, we lucky? No, it's wrapped. What? Yeah. You see that? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Riding over the uh, speedway right now and look at how beautiful that sunset is right there as we're heading towards the redirect. So we have to go all the way to the International Gateway and then we'll go back to the boardwalk. I don't think we'll go to like the Yacht and the Beach Club, but that's like the boardwalk. Look at Tom Care over there, the silhouette. We're flying over the water right now on our way to land in the station. This has been great, just being on the Skyliner line. And here we are again at the International Gateway, but we're not going to Epcot, we're going this way. So that was the station over there. And this is where we're going, over here to uh, the boardwalk. Look at how beautiful this is. I am, I'm so glad. Brennan, Brennan talked to me to go to the boardwalk because I was like, we don't need to go all the way to the boardwalk to bin trade, but here we are and it's worth it. So there's an ice cream shop over here that we could potentially go to. It looks pretty busy. There's a street performance happening, but we are heading into the lobby. The boardwalk is one of those places that I would love to stay at, maybe one day. So we are upstairs in the lobby of the boardwalk and these are the really terrifying chairs that are very well known in the Disney community. Um, so I ended up trading for this pin. I've never traded in the boardwalk lobby before, I don't think. This is also really cool. Over here I just traded my like Sword in the Stone pin for this one. I don't I don't love it, but I'm also like I'm okay with it because the point is just to trade one that you like, trade for one that you like just like a little bit more, right? And then maybe trade this for something even better. Okay, so we're heading downstairs to go to the uh, the gift shop down there. There's some fun like vintage photos in here in this like coffee shop. So we're going down the stairs right now. The gift shop should just it, well it is. Why do I say that? Why do we go? Oh, this should be over here when I know that it is. It's right around the corner. Why do I do that? Okay, so we traded in the uh, in the gift shop here. I got this ham, and then bring out this Winnie the Pooh, and then another one of the Epcot pins. Yay! We're doing another show right outside of the gift shop over here. That's cool. But I think we want to go to the boardwalk. Or well, we're out. <laughs> we're off. <laughs> Let's go to the boardwalk. Let's go to the bakery. We're going to the bakery. We want to see what they have maybe in the bakery. And if not, we'll just go back to Art of Animation. So we're not doing like a full-on bar crawl by any means, but we did stop into the Abracadab Bar. We're going to go to Long Island back over there, right? Yeah. And now we're going into the, uh, the deli. Not the deli. Well, yeah, it's the boardwalk deli, but they have bakery stuff. Okay, so I left Roy in the deli to go wait for our order because I realized there's a pin back in this gift shop that I can actually get, but I have to buy a mystery pack to trade for it. Okay, so I made it into the gift shop, and here is the wall. I'm gonna choose a mystery pin to start trading. Okay, so I went with this box, so whenever I choose mystery pins, I choose ones that like, I know for sure I don't really care to keep, so no matter which one of these I get, I'm probably gonna trade it. Okay, so these are the two mystery pins that I ended up getting. And I'm gonna trade them away. Okay, so the main thing that I got those pins for was because we didn't realize this was the one that I needed, but I have it now. So I'm leaving the gift shop now, and I'm heading back this way to meet up. And there he is. He's got the baked goods. The baked goods. Did you get your pin? And I got the pin. Yay! <laughs> did you get a mystery box? I did. I got the kites. Oh, okay. So. Fireworks are starting, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. You can sort of hear the fireworks in the background, which we should be able to see from the Skyliner, maybe. Probably, if they're still going on. This is pretty cool, everyone's watching the fireworks from the bridge here, which are going on over in Epcot. This is actually a pretty unique place to watch the fireworks from this bridge. The hope is that we can watch the fireworks from the Skyliner, at least the finale, depending on how long the line is. The line is definitely not too bad right now, so we'll see if we're still waiting in line, or we can watch the finale. So the finale is about to happen, and just a couple minutes, I think. So we'll see if we can see it from the Skyliner. That's the finale right there, pretty much. Yeah, I knew this was a great plan, Daddy. Daddy, hockey sticks, please. Yep. Daddy's the best planner. Oh, I yeah. want to just stay in the park and watch this. We were the person. I said, we'll only see five seconds of it, but okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at them. This is a pretty cool we, way to see We and my sister picked this. Oh, you guys did? That's pretty yeah. cool. I like it. We picked it. I like it. I realized it's a pretty cool view. I I didn't know what the tower was at first, but then I realized. Where are your sticks? Did, did you finish this? <laughs> Video. We 
made it to the Central Station here at Caribbean Beach. We got to see the finale fireworks of Luminous from the air. That was pretty cool. But look at this line! So we made it back to the Generation Gap Bridge here, the, the Skyliner Station here. We're heading over to Pop Century. There are a few more pins that we'd like to trade. People decorate their windows at these resorts. And look at that, that is phenomenal. Just the effort. This is the Pop Century Pool Bar Pedals, and they are heading inside the lobby just to maybe do a quick trade. It's pretty similar here, but also very different. This is the uh, like the food court, and then also the uh, gift shop. All right, so I traded to that pin board back there, and I got this little Oliver from Oliver and Company. And there was also like a pin board over here, but we didn't like anything. This is the check-in desk over here, at Pop Century, and I traded for this one here, this little Duffy pin with a goofy hat, and then Brennan got. This one, so you are missing one pin to complete your Epcot collection, I think. I'm still am like curious like what each pin belongs to. I'm not sold that this is like the full collection. So we're heading back to Art of Animation now, and we may try to go over to the gift shop over there. We've definitely traded what we don't want. So we'll just see what they have, but I'm pretty satisfied and I think we're in this too. It's about 10 o'clock though, so I don't know how late these places are going to be open. Like the, I don't know, like the gift shop. Pop Century does seem a little bit more cozy than uh, Art of Animation, at least like this area from like the pool to the check-in hall. But this check-in building is phenomenally better than Pop Century, I think at least. So there were no pins over there that we would have wanted to get. There were some, but a little girl got them before I could. So we're now of course in the arcade, and what are we going to do? We are going to try to get Arlo a duck for when we pick him up tomorrow, and I would love to get him that like little mermaid duck, just the mermaid duck in general. Oh no! Come on, mermaid duck! Oh, we got. Oh no! Whoa! Yay! No way! Are you kidding? This is wild. Look oh, at this. No. The mermaid duck is stuck in the claw. What? What the heck? Brennan. I can't believe that. Just the luck. You can't even see on the camera, but it is just barely, barely like squinched in that claw. What are the chances? What the heck? That was the one we wanted. So we're walking to the very back of uh, the arcade, and guess what? We got it! We had to get some help, but we totally got it. Apparently the games are supposed to be free play right now, because it's really late. So we didn't have to pay for this at all. All the games are free, except for the duck game. But, yay! The cast member helped us and we got our duck. We also got another duck too, but I really wanted the mermaid duck for our loan. We're picking up tomorrow. Okay, so I think we're heading back to the room now. It's getting very late. But we did what we came in here to do, which was to win a duck. Yay! And we have some pizza leftovers waiting for us. This is Landscapes of Flavor, which is pretty busy. Right now, it gets very busy at night. So we're about to call it an evening, right, Brennan? It's time to get rip freaky, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have some pizza back in the room, and what else do we have? We have like so many different like treats and snacks. I haven't even shown what's like in our bag. Brennan is still walking with ducks in hand after getting Rafiki, Rafiki back there. <laughs> Darn it, I messed up my own joke. So there's some of our leftover pizza and then this is what we got from the bakery. So I got a banana bread and then we're sharing this snickerdoodle muffin and then what'd you get? A crumble cake. Ooh, yummy. Which I think is like a coffee cake. So these are both of our pin trading lanyards that we traded a significant amount of pins for tonight to get closer to our respective goals of I just want to have fun ones that are representative of my Disney personality and then Brennan wants really cute ones and then she wants to start completing them so she has pretty much all of these Epcot icon ones so this one is uh, Communicore, this is the land, that's the seas, um, this one is Journey to Imagination, uh, this one is Horizons, that one is um, Oh god, I'm, I'm blanking. What is that one? That is World of Motion. Uh, this one is the Universe of Energy. This one is World Showcase. So she's missing Spaceship Earth. And then I think technically Epcot Center, as far as the icons. 
but she has all the other ones and just all these cute ones that she got tonight and then myself too and and I don't know I'm, I'm always excited and willing to, to trade pretty much any of these a lot of these I'm like I don't know, I like them, and, and they're cute and they're adorable, but if I find one cuter and more adorable or more representative of just what I like at Disney, then I will trade for it. But I'm I'm really liking what I have so far. So Brennan's having <laughs> some pizza right now, and you also found this pen in your pocket mm -hmm. uh, that you got at the boardwalk, I think. This is the Wonders of Life pen, and there's probably plenty of other ones that we don't know about, plenty of pavilions at Epcot. Yeah. So we'll see, but that's just something for us to hopefully do more of pin trading in the future. Today, as far as today's video, this one, this was like the second half of what we ended up doing today, <laughs> just eating pizza. Um, <laughs> because we went to Animal Kingdom this morning, then we came back to the resort, you took a nap, I got to edit, we got to just relax in the room a little bit, and then we, uh, we pin traded and explored the Skyliner, uh, which we have done before, but it's always really fun to do, and especially staying here and just taking advantage of being on the Skyliner line. Yeah. We just both, we talked like that what, what we wanted out of this this trip, and that was just such a priority, is to really use the Skyliner. And we got to go on it multiple times over the course of just like Because that's the thing about staying trip. at a, a resort is like, what are the amenities? And the amenities of Art of Animation is the Skyliner. So even if it's just like, okay, maybe there's no like restaurants here, you can take the Skyliner and go to a restaurant. Like mm -hmm. maybe there's nothing with the atmosphere here that you want go on the Skyliner and find an atmosphere. Yeah, that like, is exactly what we did. That's the amenity. And it was fun. And uh, tomorrow we check out. We have to check out by like 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So we'll see what we end up doing tomorrow. But thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. And goodbye. Goodbye. Can I have a bite? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs>